another quick trick for you and this one is all about finding the highest common factor with your calculator even if your calculator doesn't have a highest common factor button. What we're going to do is we're going to take our two numbers that we want to find the highest common factor of and we're going to type them into our calculator as a fraction with one of them as the numerator and one of them as the denominator. Numerator top number, denominator bottom number. What we do is we type in our first number, we press the fraction button, here it is on the Casio, and then we type in our denominator, our bottom number, and we hit equals. What you will see is immediately the calculator will simplify this fraction into the smallest possible version. What it's done in order to do that is found the highest common factor between the numerator and the denominator and divided both numbers by it. All we need to do to work out what the highest common factor of our two numbers was then is work out what the calculator divided our original numbers by and we can do that by rearranging the equation. To show you how this works I'll do an example. Let's work out the highest common factor of 36 and 96. First off I'm going to type in 36 and press my fraction button and put 96 as the denominator. I press equals, it gives me 3 over 8. So 36 divided by something gives me 3 and 96 divided by that same something gives me 8. I can work that out by dividing 36 by 3 or 96 by 8. So let's do that. 36 divided by 3 gives me 12. 96 divided by 8 then also gives me 12. 12 is the highest common factor between 36 and 96. And there you have it. If you have a calculator, there isn't any need to go through the whole product of prime thing in order to find your highest common factor, unless of course the question is asking you specifically to do that. You just need to use the fraction button on your calculator and work out what it was your calculator divided your numbers by.